My name is Alistair Sinclair. I'm a bagpipe maker. I came into the business when I left school back in 1962. So been in the business quite a long time. It's a family business uh, taught by my father. My father started making bagpipes uh, in 1933 and my grandfather and great-grandfather made bagpipe reeds and bags but my father started the bagpipe making business and I've carried on from him. We bring the wood in from Tanzania. It comes in now cut all to the different sizes that we need and we try and hold it for about three, four years to allow it to season. Once it's been in the seasoning process for that length of time, it then gets rough down to a cylinder, it gets a hole put through it, it gets left to season a wee bit longer and then from then it goes on to the wood turning lathe and we hand turn all the bits um, involved and then eventually the pipe is assembled and tested. <laughs> time taken to make a set of pipes is probably about two weeks although if you were just starting at eight o'clock in the morning till five at night you would make it within a week but there is other jobs that come in between times so we end up probably taking about two weeks to a set of pipes. I've been turning since I was about 12 years old gaining experience all the time just watching my father work. To learn the trade of bagpipe making is generally about five years, but to be honest, I'm still learning. It's something that you just have to keep working at to get it right. The market has changed quite dramatically. Um, in my father's time going back to when I came into the business in 62, there was a lot of work. We were turning out a lot more instruments than we do now. There is a lot of interest now within schools teaching bagpipes and the industry really is quite buoyant. But for ourselves, because it's all handmade, it's very high end of the market. Um, we don't have an awful lot of output in a year. The future of the business is difficult. I've got a son in the business, Ewan. He's coming much later. He does a lot of the groundwork for me, but the finishing work, he hasn't really perfected at the moment. And if the Lord wills, he might eventually do it and the business will keep going.